Welcome everybody to the final Premier Championship Wrestling event of the year of the decade. My name is Joe Dombrowski, joined once again by Jay Worthington Farnsworth. And it's best of spirit. We got our tree up here, but it's going to be a lot of holiday hell in the ring for many of our athletes. And we join, we join the proceedings in a very eccentric way to kick things off. confident we've seen a more driven and a more outgoing if you can imagine what that might be like rc dupree than ever before vip joe rosa his bodyguard by his side and a main reason for rc's confidence has been what he calls his masterpiece that painting that rc says depicts the true remy levey that that masterpiece is what you meant to say joe Take a look at the Sturm und Drang in it. It clearly What are you represents. saying? The Sturm und Drang? You're not familiar with the German movement? No? Anyway, um, it, it clearly shows the angst that uh, is inherent in Remy LeVette. Well, we'll see what kind of angst may be inherent in R.C. and Rosa once the opponents make their way to ringside. R.C.'s using Remy LeVay to further his own career and embarrass Remy in the process, or try to, or at least exploit him. R.C. has no interest in Remy, no cause to help him, nothing of that nature. R.C. just wants to profit off of somebody else. He wants to paint him. what you see is what you get. I don't think Remy really uh, gets into the overly cultured hoity-toity lifestyle that maybe RC is trying to get involved in. Uh, Remy is not very materialistic and capitalistic. Remy is just Remy. And with Gory by his side, the New Age play, the culmination, have uh, had a rocky year. In 2019, we've seen the culmination at its strongest and its weakest. We've seen them unified like we do today, and we've also seen them at each other's throats almost imploding from within. But tonight, Gory and Remy stand tall in tag team action. Remy needed some backup to counteract R.C. Dupree, and uh, found a perfect choice in the form of the New Age play. Sure, and likewise, uh, R.C. Dupree needed some help maintaining and protecting this masterpiece. And who better than uh, VIP Joe Rosa? Well, we saw Rosa and Dupree tag together for the first time back at Anniversary. They were successful in an outing there. Uh, Rosa is a, uh, a veteran of the scene. He's been around about a decade now in and out. And he, he's trained with some uh, very noteworthy individuals over the years. So Rosa's got a lot of... Uh, a talent himself, he's got what it takes to survive and thrive, but then again, he's never faced anything quite like the culmination. To be fair, who has ever faced anything quite like the culmination? You don't know what it's like to face the culmination until you face the culmination. Joe, you know exactly what I'm talking about. What is R.C. doing? He, he, oh, he, he's using Lindell. Finally, Nick Lindell has some purpose here in Premier. He's using Lindell as like a human, as an easel. A human easel to hold the painting up. A human easel, Nick Lindell, ladies and gentlemen. Why does RC need to look at the painting through the whole match? Yeah, inspiration. Same, same reason Madonna dances. Really, the exact same reason. For inspiration. Okay. Well, we'll see uh, how inspired we get. RC's so inspired he tagged out. He wanted to take a little more time to look at the painting. Yeah, our, our Rosa able to take Remy down. You see the power of VIP Joe Rosa in the early going. Rosa's always been uh, always been in pretty good shape. Always had a lot of muscle on his frame, and has been somebody that uh, is used to hanging out in the clubs and enjoying the finer things of life. He's called himself VIP, and now he's a he's a VIP protector of some fine art. Allegedly. I mean, we all got to make our bones somehow. 
And art protection, I imagine, pays pretty well. I mean, I don't quite know how deep the pockets of someone like R.C. Dupree are, but I can see him spending a decent amount of money to protect his masterpiece. Oh, it hasn't to ask where he makes his money, other than simply painting. Does he do that? Does he have other paintings? I would assume. I mean, uh, you have, what's the point in having a masterpiece if that's the only thing you paint? Remy through the ropes, and Gory springs up with a drop kick, nicely done, takes Rosa down. And Gory, wasting no time that getting that thirst for flesh gnawing into the skull of R.C.'s protector. Thrust kick to the gut. A swinging neck breaker. And a cover for two. And uh, Gory and Remy, certainly a unified front, I think. You can look at the issues the culmination have had all year. The Atticus Gory rivalry with Remy in the middle, and you could say that at the end of the day, round up making them closer. Yeah, I mean definitely. The The fire that doesn't burn you up will hold you together. There's a cover for two. Now it's Remy who finds himself at odds as he continues to lock eyes with RC Dupree. Remy LeVay had that painting in his hand a month ago. He dropped it at R.C. Dupree's side. I think Remy thought that this rivalry was over at that point. I think Remy thought that he won the matchup and everything was in the past. But, oh, oh R.C. is still carrying around this painting. You think Remy regrets, as Rosa with a takedown off the distraction, you think Remy regrets the fact that he had a chance to destroy the painting and didn't? As a result, he's still in this mess? We were working on the assumption that destroying the painting would end this. Uh, I, I would counter that perhaps this doesn't end until R.C. Dupree gets to finish his masterpiece. Will it ever be finished? Some of those works of art take years. Possible. I mean, I, I like to think so. I mean, he's he's definitely been doing some some exploring, some research, some looking into what makes Remy LeVay the dark child that he is. I think R.C. and Remy are just pulled opposites. One is very vibrant and colorful and in your face, and one prefers to, to hang out in the shadows. And I don't think R.C. Dupree is ever going to understand Remy LeVay. I mean, I, I'm not sure I understand Remy LeVay. And, you know, I, I think R.C. Dupree... Uh, attempting to do so again is it, it, a farce to, to use Remy but to Joe, make an example out of it. Joe, art isn't supposed to give you the answer. Art is supposed to lead you along with the questions. Yeah, yeah, you have to find your own answer. And if you find your own answer, perhaps while looking at that piece of art, then has not R.C. Dupree done his job? Are you auditioning to, to be a tour guide in the R.C. Dupree Museum or something? Not just because I understand a bit of art and art theory, should I dumb it down for you? Should I? I, I understand what, what an artist is going through. I think you're one of those guys that's just using these thousand dollar words because you like hearing yourself talk. That, that Those two things have nothing to do with each other. I see. Rosa, back in the ring. And certainly you got to acknowledge that Rosa has been a great compliment as he goes in for the cover. Rosa's been a great compliment for R.C. Dupree thus far. R.C.'s been able to, let's say, act out, let's say, express himself quite a bit more when he's got, he's got Rosa watching his back. I mean, to be fair, yeah, the infant Talib gets to, uh, gets to uh, throw the fit a little bit louder when Mommy and Daddy have its back. Or in this case, Daddy. And there you see behind the back of the official, Dupree choking Remy LeVay. Is choking somebody going to help you understand them and, and get inside of them and get inside of them what makes them tick and their minds? And uh, and you're, and now you're asking me the artist process, which is a completely different thing. It's like you, you look at art and ask me, so explain art. There's, there's not one specific thing. Well, explain this double team. Explain Remy getting the hell beat up. Well, um, he has till five. Okay, come on. Well, Remy LeVay may not make it till five again here at this point because he's in a bad, bad way. And RC, in the moment, certainly enjoying every bit of what he's doing here. That uh, Kurt Hennig overhead neckmare. 
Remy LeVay in a bad way at this point in time. RC into the cover. Two Cal. Only think if RC and Rosa can uh, keep Remy down, they'll try to time up in the ropes again and finish the painting right here. I mean, I wouldn't put it past them, but I would say, being that uh, Gory's here, I wouldn't count on that happening. That's why you bring someone with you. I mean, through the legs of Dupree, reaching for a tag, and always oh, inches away from Gory. And Remy up for the Enziguri. Enzu, and now he just has to get to the tag. Yeah, he's broken from the grasp of R.C. Dupree. Can Remy get to Gory in time? And R.C. with the with the tag to DeRosa, I think. Well, Gory, no, he, yeah. he didn't tag. Gory's been tagged. R.C. was near Rosa. I don't know if R.C. was just uh, debating it or if he was too out of it. But either way, Gory unloading on everybody. And you're seeing the, the fire of the New Age plague come out here. You can tell why, uh, why Remy went to his brotherhood to back him up. Look out, right in the chin. Gory into the cover for two. I was going to say, Joe Rosa was reaching for the tag there. And, and Remy had wanted nothing to do with it. I see you, man. That's what I meant, RC. And I'm not sure if that was uh, by design or not. Look at the clothesline now. Rose is getting his whether he's legal or not, that's for sure. Four feet on either side of Joe Rosa. Four feet to two years. And could be time for the culmination to finish this one off. Wait a minute, RC with a painting and pushing Glory off. What is RC doing with a painting? Well, he's an artist. He paints. He's not painting now. He's in a match. Oh. And a painting right in the midsection. R.C. Oh. just... Oh, look what he did to the frame of the painting. R.C. just broke the frame of the painting across Remy. He's crushed. I mean, you can tell how upset he is. He's crushed. Well, he's an idiot. It's his own fault. I mean, that's the thing about artists. They can be eccentric. No, R.C.? The eccentric artist... How's this for eccentric? Oh, the mist! Wait a minute! R.C. used the painting to shield himself from the mist, and now there's mist all over the painting. R.C.'s masterpiece! Ruined. The poor fellow. Oh. Up. Up. Backpack stunner from the culmination on their turf. And there's a count of three. The culmination pick up a victory. Sure, the culmination won, but you know who lost? Who's the that? The art world. Oh. Well, how do you think RC's going to salvage his way out of this one? I, I, I will not try and speculate as to what an artist will do. Uh, my, my guess would be Laudanum and uh, and Gary Newman. But. And it looks like. This painting is going to finally be finished off. Going to break it over the head of R.C. And Rosa's got it. Rosa's got what's left of it, at least. The culmination was going to uh, finally put the finishing touches, so to speak, on R.C.'s masterpiece. And they've salvaged what they can. But uh, I think there's going to be a, uh, uh, let's say, uh, so many long hours in studio from RC trying to touch this one up. I mean, I hope he's able to uh, reskin it and get it, uh, get it on a new uh, frame. Look at his face. He's not okay. No, I mean, his masterpiece got broken. Maybe you shouldn't bring it into a wrestling mat. Maybe you shouldn't try to uh, paint your subject without their permission. Maybe Artist, there's less in there. Artists live by different rules. No. Oh, no. Well, the rule right now is a win and a loss, and the culmination have a victory. Take us off your holly house.